In this video, we're going to talk again about hearing the differences between our major and minor chords. Once more, we're in the key of C. So we'll have chord 1, which is C, chord 4, which is F, chord 5, which is G, chord 6, which is A minor, chord 2, which is D minor, and now we'll add chord 3, which is E minor. So here's our chord of C. And we found that A minor is related to the chord of C. If you go down three half steps from C, one, two, three, you land on A. And so in the scale of C, which is using all the white notes from C to C, chord six is going to be related to chord one. So chord one and chord six are going to be interchangeable to some extent. Chord four, if we count down three half steps from F, one, two, three, we land on D. So D minor, we found in a previous video, had two of the notes which were the same as the F chord. So D minor is related to F major chord and can be interchangeable for the most part. Now chord of G, if we count down three half steps from the G, one, two, three, we land on the E. So the E minor chord has two of the notes that belong in the G chord. So G and E minor, to some extent, will be interchangeable within a key. So let's hear what this sounds like. Chord 1, chord 4, chord 5, here's chord 3. And again I'll play it after a different chord instead of 5. Here's 5, 4, 3. And now I'll play it after A minor and then I'll play it after D minor. 4, 6, And now I'll play it following two. All right, so again, you can hear that depending on what chord precedes the E minor, it has a different flavor or it creates a different musical effect. So we've heard chord six, Chord 6 going to chord 4, I'm sorry, chord 3 going to chord 4, works really well. Chord 3 going to chord 5 can work. Chord 3 going to chord 1 works pretty well. And many songs, for example, Enya has written stuff, you'll hear this kind of a back and forth chord progression. So that works very well. And then chord three to two doesn't work as well as any of the others. But chord three and chord six work really well together. And that's because of strong root movement in the bass. So chord three to chord two is right next door. That doesn't work as well, but Chord 3 to 6, either going up or going down, has a very strong movement of a 4th or movement of a 5th in the bass. So let's throw this E minor chord into a progression and you can hear the difference. Now let's add in the A minor and the D minor on top of the E minor and I'll keep the C, F and G in as well. A 
is the E minor. Back to C. A minor. D minor. E minor. 